Hello everybody, welcome to Just Upright. My name is Doc Jean Ruder. I'm a doctor of physical therapy and I'm your foreign educated physical therapist guide to US application. I hope you guys are doing great. So what we're going to talk about today is um, the dates and deadlines for national physical therapy examination here in the United States. We're gonna look at the dates and deadlines uh, for 2024 and 2025 okay so if you are planning to take the national physical therapy examination soon this is something that you need to know so that you can uh, prepare if you do not have a tourist visa yet this is something that you have to time your u.s embassy interview uh, before the intended examination so you can get here to the u.s in time or in anywhere in the u.s territories and if you do not know you can take npte in canada as well if it, it will be easier for you to go there rather than the u.s okay so i'm going to uh, discuss that and i'm going to give you tips on how to pass the national physical therapy examination coming right up so i am here at the website of fsbpt.org you know so if you just google npte schedules uh it will take you to this site you know the first um, part of the engine search uh, result you can click the fsbpt.org so this is for 2024 okay i'll make it bigger so you can see it better so um in a year, so you can see four months, January, April, July, October. So in each month, uh, there are two dates that you can choose from, January 23 or 24, April 24, 25, July 24, 25, and October 29, 30, okay? Um, so as you can see here on the second column, registration and payment deadline. Um, if you can notice that it's uh, almost like a month, more than a month, uh, before the intended uh, examination is the deadline for payment and registration, okay? So if you're going to take the exam in January 23-24, okay, your deadline will be December 19. For April 24-25, your de deadline is March 20th. For July 24, 25, it's June 19. And for October 29, 30, September 24. Now, on this next column here, jurisdiction approval deadline, this means, if you don't know, if you haven't watched my vi previous videos yet, this means that the FSBPT should receive the eligibility letter from the state that you're applying uh, for okay for example you're applying to state of new york okay so um after you've done with your credentialing with fccpt new york or cgfns new york and they submitted it to the state of new york and you paid all the fees for new york and all the requirements that new york or whatever state you're uh, applying to if you completed all the requirements, they should send you eligibility letter, okay? And that eligibility letter will be sent to you and it should be sent to FSBPT as well. So the deadline here is rough around like three weeks before the MPTE, okay? So if FSBPT does not receive the eligibility letter on this specific days, uh, dates okay three weeks uh, roughly three weeks before the scheduled mpte even though you paid fsbpt okay you won't be able uh to uh take the examination if they do not receive the eligibility letter you, they won't give you the authorization to test even after you paid them okay so it is extremely 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 important for you uh, to really follow up on your um, state, make sure you ask them if they give you eligibility letter, make sure to ask them or email them. Uh, did you submit my eligibility letter to FSBPT already? Okay, because I have had many students who emailed me, they registered to FSBPT, they paid FSBPT, 
but they cannot receive they haven't received their authorization to test yet okay a week or two uh, after they paid and they are wondering why and it turns out one applicant told me that there was a miscommunication between the state and the FSBPT. FSBPT said we haven't received it. The state said we already submitted to FSBPT. So there's a miscommunication there. Okay, so that's why this jurisdiction approval deadline is very impro important for you uh, to follow up with your state, especially if you paid FSBPT and you haven't received your authorization to test yet. Okay, the authorization to test will give you the instructions on how you're going to schedule your NPTE. It will walk you through what website, how you're going to uh, reserve your spot on the specific uh, location that you choose, okay? So uh, seats are reserved for candidates until January 9 for the January exam, April 10, July 10, and October 15, okay? Approximately like two weeks before the NPTE. Scores reported to jurisdiction is like one week after the NPTE, okay, July 31st, May 2, August 1st, and November 6th. And free candidate report available online, okay, uh, like two weeks after the NPTE, it's still available online, February 7, May 9, August 8, and November 14, okay? So that is for the physical therapist, okay? Now, uh, we're going to see the deadline for uh, 2025 dates and deadlines for physical therapists okay so uh, the exams dates a little bit change uh, but it's still january april july and october okay so for 2025 okay this is two years from now uh january 29 30 is the uh, npte date you have to submit uh the payment and you have to register by December 23rd. They will wait for eligibility letter, letter from the state until January 3rd. Uh, the seat, seats are reserved two weeks before the NPTE, January 14th. Scores reported to the state, okay, February 5th, and free online um, report until February 12th. April 29th, 30th. Uh, the de deadline is March 25th. The eligibility letter should be submitted to FSBPT by April 1st. Your, ch your seat is reserved until April 15th. Uh, your result is um, going to be submitted to the state by May 7, And online uh, free candidate report May 14th until May 14th. July 29-30, the registration and pay payment deadline is June 24th. Uh, July 1st is the deadline for eligibility letter. Seats reserved July 15th. Uh, your score is reported and, uh, to the state by August 6th. And your uh, score is available online until August 13th. October 28-29, registration is September 23rd. Approval from the state is September 30, deadline. Um, seats reserved uh, by October 14th. And scores reported to the state November 5th. And the free candidate report available online till November 13th. Okay, so you might be asking, uh, after the test, uh, when will I find out my if I fail or pass the examination? So again, there's a resource here from FSBPT website. After the test, receiving your results, your pass or fail result will be posted to your online account approximately five days after your eligibility period ends, after your examination. Okay, so five days, that's a waiting time for you to see if you pass or fail but there is no score yet okay so the results will be sent to your jurisdiction at the same time you no further action is required to send your scores to jurisdiction you selected when you registered for the exam okay so your free score report okay which includes your numerical scaled score will be posted to your online account 10 days following your exam date so the dates 
uh, that we discussed before at the last column those that is the date that they will post your total score you know uh, numerical scaled score uh, and this report can be free to access for 30 days so after 30 days and you want a copy of your report okay you can access it by purchasing it you have to buy a copy of your individual sc score report on your uh, dashboard okay so the free score report posted to your dashboard includes only the scaled score and pass or fail status if you would like diagnostic feedback on your exam performance again a, if you want to buy it you don't have to uh, you may purchase a performance feedback okay see below okay so you can check out this site if you want further details about your score report okay so what will help you to uh, pass the NPTE? I have a video. You can check the link here uh, of the material that you can use to pass the NPTE. I highly recommend if you have been out of school for a long period of time to enroll to an NPTE prep program. Okay, there is, here in the U.S. there is a Final Frontier, there's PT Hustle, there are other uh, companies like that. I have videos for that too. I will put the link down below. There's 10% off if you use that link. Okay. Um, so if you want to self-study, okay, uh, check out the, the materials that I uh, made a video about and study the reviewers. Okay. So study the reviewers. Um, the questioning in the reviewers mimic the questioning in NPTE. It is a layered question. It is like there is a question underneath a question and you have to really figure out what they're asking. It's analytical, okay? So it's not memorization. So part of it, you have to memorize, of course, the origin insertion, you know, action of the nerve. And so that when they ask something like the patient has a, a foot drop deformity after having stroke, the nerve that is affected is, okay, tibial nerve, okay? So anterior tibial nerve. So that is more on memorization, but it's also analytical in some sort, okay? So, uh, and there are choices that are very near each other related to each other so you really have to um, master how they are asking the question okay it's not like um, lifted from the textbook kind of thing that you have to memorize what is the largest artery of the body what is the longest nerve of the body okay so it's more on analytical okay so um, I hope that is helpful for you to prepare so I also have the 2024 update okay check that one out uh, because they have changes on the npte questioning and contents okay so uh like they're no longer asking about phonophoresis because it's not being used at all so you don't have to waste your time about it uh, the 2024 changes include video questions so they will present like a nine second video and they will ask questions related to the video there's also a scenario based uh, question in which there's like a case study this is an 81 year old patient with a history of left femoral fracture hypertension hypercholesterolemia etc okay and then they will put any uh, related information there and then they will ask questions uh, based on that scenario okay so that's a scenario question so those are some of the changes okay but check that video out about the changes for 2024 so you can best prepared for npte and pass the npte okay guys so i hope that is helpful if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe it will really help boost the channel and also share this video to anyone you know who's preparing for npte and also please Hit that like button so that uh, YouTube will know that this is worth sharing and, uh, you know, presenting to other viewer, viewers as well. Okay. And again, if you have any question, clarification, suggestion, please I'll leave a comment down below and I will reply to them as soon as I can. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Until the next video, stay blessed and pass your NPTE.